Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Uh, today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make your own distressed designs in Cricut Design Space. Um, so I've created this one here. And you can see I've distressed the, um, get out of my way there. I've distressed the palm trees and I've distressed the um, sun or the circle back there. And I've added these lines to it. Um, at the end of this video, I will show you how I created this entire design here, um, all within Cricut Design Space. But for right now, I'm going to hide this guy. I'm going to show you how I distressed the design. So here it is, the palm trees, the um, sun or circle, whatever this is, and the word summer. I need to ungroup this file because we're going to work with it kind of piece by piece. I'm going to take summer and I'm going to hide it for now. So what you need to make your distressed designs is a distressed template. I have one. I will link to it. You can purchase it um, from my Etsy shop or from my website for $1.99. Um, and this is what it is. It looks like a big mess right now. But as you stretch it out, you will see that you can kind of move it around however you want it so you can get the look that you're wanting to achieve. I'm going to scoot everything down a little bit and I'm only going to work with the, um, the circle for right now. Okay, so I'm just positioning this how I think I want it to look. That looks like it's going to be good. So I've got the distress template highlighted. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to hold shift and highlight my circle so that both of these are selected. And then I'm going to hit slice. And this has now sliced out this design so I can get rid of all these extra pieces that I don't need. And you can see it left me with my distressed circle. Okay, now I'm going to come do the palm trees. Let me hide the circle up here. Um, I'm going to detach them and work with them one at a time. So again, let me bring in my template and stretch it out. I'm actually going to rotate it. Oh, I want you to rotate straight. There we go. Okay, drag this guy out. And I'm going to slice one palm tree at a time, but I want to kind of position them and get them closer together to where I only have to do this once without pulling this SVG back in. Hmm. What about down here? Okay. I think we're going to go with this. Okay, so I'm going to select my uh, distress template. I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to select one of the palm trees. And then I'm going to hit slice. Okay, now before I do anything, I'm going to do this again. I'm going to select my template. I'm going to hold shift and select the other palm tree and hit slice. Okay, now I have um, sliced the template out of both. Okay, you have to be careful where you place things. Um, two of these dots were close enough together for it to think I wanted a connected line. I'm going to have to redo that. I'm glad that happened, though. So you can see sometimes it is not perfect. Let me go back to before it's sliced. Okay. This one is already sliced. I'm just going to re-slice this one. It was this guy right here that caused the problem. So let me maybe, maybe like this. Let's try that. Oh, it didn't let me come here. This is too far up to the top of my screen. Let's 
let's try this. So my template is selected. I'm going to come down here, hold shift, and get my other tree and hit slice. Okay, that worked. So now I can get rid of all the extra pieces I don't need. And I have my distressed palm trees. And my distressed sun. Just place everything in here. I'm going to align the bottoms of these palm trees. So I've got them both selected. Align. Align bottom. Then I'm going to drag a box around everything and come and center it all. Okay, so now it's all perfectly centered. I can get my word, bring it back in. I want it on the top. It's kind of behind everything right now. So I'm going to come to arrange and send to front. And now it's on the top. And there it is. I have my distressed design. Um, that's really all you need. This works with any kind of design you want. I could distress, like if I want to distress the word here, I just bring my template back in, stretch it out over my word. Let's see. Well, that was the wrong. And I want to rotate this. slice them, and then start getting rid of the parts that you don't need. And now Summer is also distressed. So it's up to you. You can distress anything you want with that pattern. Um, like I said, I'll put a link to it. You can get it from my Etsy shop or from my website. It's $1.99. Now if you want to stick around, I will show you how I... Um, put the little lines in here and just how I created the whole design. Okay, so let's just start from scratch with this. So obviously I had a circle. I'm going to bring that in and make it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to turn it um, orange. And then I came into my images in Cricut Design Space and I searched palm tree. And this was the one I used, so I'm going to insert that in. Okay, got it kind of sized how I think I want it. And then I'm going to duplicate this palm tree. And I'm going to flip it the other way. I'm going to flip it horizontal. I'm going to now attach these two after I align them at the bottom. So I'm going to align bottoms and attach so that they stay together. Now let me turn them pink. Okay. To get the lines in this circle, I first brought in some squares. I'm going to unlock this and just drag it and make it skinny. Okay, I'm going to duplicate that a couple times and just kind of position them where I think I want them on the circle. So let's do two close together and one a little farther out. Okay, I'm going to um, group all of these together really quick. Well, it's hard to do because they're skinny. Come on now. Let me just do it up here. Okay, group. And now I'm going to duplicate that pattern and bring it here. Duplicate it one more time and bring it to the bottom of my circle. Okay, now I want to slice these lines out of the circle, but we know we can only slice two images at a time. Right now I have one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten images. I'm going to take all of these um, lines and make them one. 
So let me select them all again. Let's see here. Okay, so all my lines are selected. I'm going to hit the weld here, and that made this one image now. This is all one thing. So now I just have two images. I have the lines and I have the circle. Select them both, hit slice, and these guys are now sliced out of the circle. Then I can bring my palm trees back in, move them up to the front, get my text, Um, to connect my text together, I bring my letter spacing down to a zero and see how that does. And it's not quite enough, so I just keep clicking it down until it's all connected. And then I weld it. Bring it over here. Rotate. Turn it blue. And then I would go back and put the distressed on top of the design. And there you have it. It's that simple. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.